hi Beth, how are you doing? This is Christian. Um, doing my entry to your contest. So it took me so long to do it. I was out of town, so I have just returned home. So first of all, congratulations for having this contest. It's a really, really cool one. It's 1969, many, many years ago. Uh, so without further ado, you ask uh, very five or four very simple questions. I think I have them right here. Let me check my note. Yes. Share your favorite artist who performed at Woodstock. Be yeah, yeah, that's because you're giving uh, an awesome, awesome uh, box set of uh, the uh, Woodstock. It's almost like a greatest hits of that festival. Uh, 1969, a milestone that uh, created, that uh, transformed, the, I think, the music uh, scene into an, uh, into an industry because um, before the 1969 uh, music was more like an art or a hobby than it wasn't as big as it became in the 70s, 80s and we all know right now how music it is. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to, of course many art, uh, artists uh, perform at, at uh, Woodstock. I don't have many of them. I have um, of course the, the Who, uh, CCR um, uh, and, and some um, uh, some other artists, that, but I don't have many. But I'm going to go with two that one, one is both both of them are huge. But of course, um, first it's uh, Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix, uh, uh, really an uh, unknown guy who performed at uh, I think early in the morning. I think from nine to eleven on a Saturday morning. A really great performance by Jimmy. Of course, uh, he played for two hours, and uh, the the rest is history. Uh, but um, my main um, artist that I want to show is this guy, of course, and a really unknown um, uh, artist to the American public. It's a guy for for, for starters, he's from Mexico, uh, not as Jimmy or uh, all the other artists that perform that were from, uh, from Canada, the States, um, the UK. But this guy was from Mexico. Nobody, no one know, knew who, who he was. And he did a great, great performance with his band and uh, Soul Sacrifice. I think that's one of the best, best songs from from that festival, from that era, from that type of music that he plays so so well back in the day when he he was mixing uh, Latin uh, uh, sounds with uh, rock. And well, this is my Abraxas um, vinyl from back in the day. It's from 1970. It's it's a really really good one. So this is my first um, artist. Oh, so this is my artist that I want to show from that festival, Carlos Santana from Mexico. Um, next, your favorite art album that was re released in 1969. Well, this is one of my. I, I, I've seen many videos when they shown um, uh, lots of. Uh, uh, Led Zeppelin, Zeppelin one, Zeppelin two. So I'm going to go with uh, another one. I don't know if th this one is one of the best or my favorite, but it's from 1969. It's uh, of course uh, the Doors and the Soft Parade. Kind of a different um, approach for uh, for uh, for the band. This is their fourth year. Um, uh, yes, this is the 40th an an anniversary reissue. From a couple, sorry, I'll make it from a couple of years ago. Really good one. So there it is, the doors and the soft parade. Next, your favorite film from 1969. I'm not not such a big uh, movie fan from certain uh, year, but um, I think I find out uh, lots of good movies from from 1969. Of course, Easy Rider. Um, being the one that's been shown in many many other entries, uh, there's an also uh, also another one, uh, a really cool one, uh, Satyricon. That's kind of uh, different kind of a uh, movie. Of course, it is uh, Krakatoa, uh, uh, East of Java. That's a really really good one. But I want to stop in one movie from 1969 from my country, from Chile, and it's a. It's from, it's a movie. The name of the of it, it of course it's in Spanish, and it's um, the name of the of the movie. It's El Chacal de Nahuel Toro or Nahuel 
Tolo's uh, Jackal. It's it's based on, on a true story of a um, really of yeah. First of all, it's it's filmed in black and white by a Chilean uh, director Miguel Litin. Um, it's a really sad story because it's it's tells the story of a of a really uh, poor guy, very um, humble, very um, almost homeless guy that was uh, accused of a, of a murder back in 1969 in Chile. <clears throat> and he was caught uh, really young. Uh, he was uh, accused of, of, of this uh, horrible murder. And he was kept in, uh, in jail for many, many, many years. And then he, I think he uh, ended up uh, being, um, of course, uh, being liberated because he was found not guilty, but he ended up dying in a tragic way. It's a really sad movie. It's, uh, it's one of the um, movies that is considered like a huge uh, uh, milestone here in the in the Chilean uh, movie industry of course it's it had it sold uh, when it was um, first uh, exhibit uh, it created a lot of uh, commotion back in the day but it not it was a big uh, blockbuster for any no way it was more of a, a social issue that created back in the day in 1969. I will try to find out a, a poster and try to put it here or maybe at the end of the video so you can uh, maybe uh, check, it, check it out um, and see what you think about it. And finally, uh, something with the uh, name with 1669 or 1969 uh, in it. Um, this, is, uh, this is Deep Purple. Um, the album Deep Purple and it says uh, this is an, an repress and reissue from the of the band and here's I don't know if you can see it now it's really really small it says original uh, release in 1969 uh, Deep Purple and the subtitle album Deep uh, Purple Let me see. So I, I took the I, I flipped the cover so I have the, the big one outside so that's why you see it in that way really good one a different type of band of course this is the Mark 1 uh, uh, lineup of, of Deep Purple you have with Rod Evans and Nick Simper there you see the, the guys but this one was released originally in 1969 and this is a reissue from a couple of years ago so that's it Beth Thanks again for having this contest. That's an awesome, awesome prize. Uh, I hope that the, the winner takes good care of it. And if I'm the lucky winner, uh, you will be for sure that I will uh, have it in, in a great spot in my uh, vinyl collection. So once again, thanks uh, Beth. This is Christian saying goodbye. See ya.